Okay, I'm just going to give a quick example here of how to use the PMT function in, in Google Spreadsheets. I understand a few folks have had some troubles with this, so maybe the best way to handle it is just with a quick little video. Okay, so I have a, uh, I've created a little spreadsheet here. I have my annual interest rate. I have my term, or the number of years that I'm borrowing the money from, and a principal. All right, and let's write this formula together. Okay, so I'll go down here, and I'll start with equals PMT. Oops, like that coming up. Try that again. Okay, so go equals PMT, and I'll put a, uh, a parenthesis there. And so uh, first thing I I put in there is my interest rate. But that's annual interest rate. And I'm making monthly payments, so I need to divide that by 12. Next thing I'll put in there is my term, and so my term is 30 years, but I I make a monthly payment, so that's actually 360 payments, or the number of years times 12. And then lastly, I, I put in my principal. Now, I always negate my principal because I'm borrowing money, and I want it to show up as a, um, as a positive number. If I don't negate it, it comes out as a, as a negative number. Um, depend upon which re reference or resource you check. Some people won't do that. Um, I think in your book, I think Schneider leaves it as a um, as actually a negative number. But anyways, either way, I'll accept for this assignment. So go ahead and take a look at this. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit Enter. And Google Docs goes through then and calculates my monthly payment. 